Of course, if it were easy, everybody would do it. You know, in today's marketplace, you have to be one of two things. You either better be the cheapest or the best. Now, you've got to decide where you want to be. Now, I'll tell you where you don't want to be, though. I really believe you don't want to be the cheapest. First and foremost, you don't want to be the cheapest. Why? Because price is the single easiest thing for competition to duplicate. Now, the second reason you don't want to sell price is because, to be perfectly honest about it, most customers do not want to buy price. They want to work with a salesperson and a business person who will be their expert, their advisor, and their resource. The Internet is a wonderful, wonderful thing. It's a wonderful invention, probably the greatest, one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century. But all the Internet really does is just throw information at you. Now think about this. As a customer, as a client, I can buy almost anything I want in the entire world off of the Internet, and I never have to talk to any of you. The problem is most salespeople just throw information at you. See, if you're going to just throw information at me, I might as well just go to my computer. You see, you have to be better than my computer. The single biggest demographic change in this country in the past 30 years is women in the workplace. And it has changed all the rules of the game. It has changed who the customer is, what the customer buys, how the customer buys, and most importantly, it has changed why customers buy. Think about it. 30 years ago, most w women were not working. Most women were home raising families. You know what women used to do that they don't do anymore? They used to go shopping. They don't do that now. You know why? They're busy! <laughs> They're working. They don't just have jobs, they have careers. They own businesses. Women own 38% of all the businesses in America. It's, it's created a situation where time and make my life easier have become a bigger priority than money. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. I'm one of those people. I mean, last Tuesday, a week ago, Tuesday, I got on a plane, I flew to Chicago, I said, I'll get back Wednesday morning, I'll drop the car at the airport, and then I'll come home from Raleigh Airport on Wednesday morning. Get home in the afternoon, and what do you know? What do I got that night? Swim practice! <laughs> and swim practice is four or five days a week. But you see, swimming, that's an easy sport, because swimming's only 11 months out of the year. And you know, my son's teacher found out I'm a motivational speaker, he said, oh, that's great, can you speak to our class? And my daughter's teacher found out I'm a motivational speaker, he said, oh, that's great, can you speak to our class? I have no life! <laughs> But you know what? Don't you laugh, because you don't either. <laughs> They're all looking for the same thing. Can you save me time? Can you make my life easier? I think the single biggest question I have for you today is this. What are you really selling? Are you just selling your product? Are you just selling your service? Or are you selling extraordinary quality, service, convenience, and value? You know why? Because extraordinary quality, service, convenience, and value requires the most effort. It's the hard that makes you great. It's the willingness to do the hard that's going to separate you from all of your competition. You know why? Because they're only willing to do the easy. Well, there are two characteristics that successful business people and successful salespeople share. One is that they always sell more than just the product or service. And the other one is that they absolutely positively love what they do. And what I'm talking about are your attitude and your commitment. Now, I mean the way you feel about yourself, the way you feel about your business, the way you feel about the products and services you sell. Because let me tell you something, folks. If you don't believe in who you are and what you do, well, don't expect anyone else to believe it. You know, I, I'm often asked when I speak, what, what is your goal for your audience? What would you like to see them take away with them? And I always say, I want them walking out of there saying, man, that guy really loves doing this. There's no set way of being successful. Everybody has their own way. But if I was to look for one common denominator among all those successful people, one thread that runs through every single one of them, it is this that every single one of those successful people absolutely, positively, loves what they do. I honestly believe that, you see, if you really truly believe that I love what I do, then you'll be that much more likely to listen to what I have to say. And if you're that much more likely to listen, well, you might be that much more likely to believe it. And if they believe it, they just might give it a shot. And if they do, I know it's going to work. And that will be your true reward. Thank you very much, folks. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.